Hi, good day, Censores. Welcome to this platform for the Censor Packet, either the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell in order to get notified when next I post a new video. If you're watching this on our Facebook page, kindly leave a comment, share this video so that other exam devotees might find the same video very much beneficial. And tag others that may find this same video very much beneficial for an exam build up revision or preparation. In today's brief tutorial, we're going to consider science to one under principle for GCE exam that's supposed to be understood as physics and we're going to use a 2023 GCE exam where we're going to focus on question 5 which is coming from the changes of state or the changes in terms of states of matter. It says figure 3.5.1 is a graph showing the variation of temperature given in degrees Celsius because temperature sometimes can also be given in kelvins with time which is given in seconds when frozen water is heated for some time. It's highly important to understand that frozen water chemically is something that we can call as ice and ice being frozen water when heated is going to undergo a reaction of gaining heat thereby breaking its bond to undergo melting. So for instance we've got zero degrees Celsius, which is the same as, as that of A, and as a result, this temperature is showing an increment as the line is sloping upwards. From B to C, we've got a straight line that neither slopes downwards or upwards. This shows that there is a change of state between B and C. No wonder it corresponds with this particular temperature. So on A, what physical change was happening to the water at point A point A? There's a very big difference between a physical change and a physical state. A physical state is a state of matter in which a certain substance is in. A physical change is either a process that is allowing a change in the state of matter. So for instance, on A here up to B, we are finding that this ice is frozen or this water is frozen, thereby at point level A, it is a solid. If the question is demanded by what physical change was happening to the water at point level A, then we can say freezing or we can say solidification. So in this case, we can be able to say freezing. So when we say freezing at A and an increment in temperature, at B, there will be melting because the temperature is increasing, which corresponds to the line which is sloping upwards. B, in which state is the water at the point between A and B? So between A and B here, we are going to find that the, it's going to be solid plus liquid. Why have included solid plus liquid? It's because here, it is solid. So which means here it is frozen already. And being frozen corresponds with the freezing. Then from A, as the line slopes upwards, it also gets to the point where the temperature is increasing. As the temperature is increasing, we need to understand that there is a change of state that is that from B to C. So we cannot say liquid because all this one, this is solid. So if this is solid, then this one is going to be solid plus a liquid. So which means here it's freezing. We cannot say, we cannot really say melting. So here we're going to say solid plus liquid. C. When the temperature starts to rise, the volume initially decreases and then increases. State the reason for this observation. At this point, we need to understand that as the temperature increases or rises, the volume will decrease. This will be for the purpose that there is a chance for a room for a change of state to take place. So here I'm going to say on C, I'm going to say this is because, or I'm going to say this is to allow a 
change of state. So you can say this is to allow a change of state to successfully occur. This is simply able to allow the change of state to occur. So it's important that we understand how these uh, some of the exam related questions may be answered. Make sure you share the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave a comment. There are others that may find this same video very much beneficial. This has been your tutor, Mr. Sensor from Sensor Academy School of Till in the next video for now, it's a very good time.